Hi everyone, it's Adriana here for Couture Creations and today I'm going to talk to you about alcohol inks from Couture Creations. This is a fabulous new product from Couture Creations. There are 51 amazing colours of which 15 are beautiful pearlized sheen alcohol inks and 36 fabulous colours. All available now at your local paper craft store and art supply. This is a stand, look out for it. If not, ask for it for, to get them in for you. There is also the alcohol ink blending solution, the Yupo A4 paper, 10 sheets in each pack, the Yupo 5x7 paper, 10 sheets in each pack, and also the Yupo A4 adhesive paper. And this is another fabulous product, the Yupo translucent paper. So let's begin playing with our beautiful Couture Creations alcohol inks. I have three colours here, the Aqua, Lemonade and Pistachio. These are a great combination of colours to use on Yupo paper. And so here I cut a A4 piece of Yupo paper in half and I've just spread this all around with the blending solution and with a straw just blowed through the alcohol inks and blend them all together. I'll show you that technique very soon but that's the one to show you that kind of combination. So this one here I'm going to be using the Yupo translucent paper. It comes in A4 pack, there's 10 sheets to the pack but I've cut mine into a 4 so I've got a size of about an A6 size. What I'm using here so we don't get ink all over the place is a plastic clipboard and I've added um, the piece of translucent paper to the clipboard with a bit of masking tape and using the three colors um, that are on the screen. Now these are pearlized alcohol inks so there has a little bead inside and you need to shake them to move that little bead inside to move the pearl pigment which is on the bottle. It will always settle on the bottle at the end of the bottle so we need to shake that give it a good shake before we use it. I'm just applying some blending solution, alcohol blending solution over my translucent paper and then I'm stabbing the three colours that I've chosen for this segment or this sample. I love the translucent paper because it actually blends in beautifully and looks transparent but not too transparent. It's very thick and it's almost like a plastic. So adding a bit of colour and a bit more blending solution and you can see I'm just using a paper straw just blowing through and just blending the colours together. Having the, the actual paper on a clipboard as I have there is great because you can actually move it around as well. As you can see I've added extra blending solution and also some extra colour. You can add so many layers on this depending on how further you want to go. But each time you add a layer it changes the colour of all the colours in between each colour and you can see that different colours are coming through when they come together. I really like this effect and it looks great on cards. So here's my finished sample. I've just placed a white piece of white card underneath it to show you the beautiful effect. So these are the colours that I used to create on the translucent Yupo paper and the alcohol ink blending solution all from Couture. Now this is another fabulous technique using glitter card stock. Now I haven't tried it with any other glitter card stock, I've only used it on our Couture Creations glitter card stock and I've used the white one together with these three colours and the alcohol blending solution. So this is the glitter card stock, comes in an A4 sheet and what I've done is I just cut it into fours to create an A6 size. Again I'm just taping that with some masking tape onto my clipboard and choosing my colours. I have a list of colours on the bottom here. So now what I'm going to do is exactly the same like I did with the other samples, just placing some blending solution, adding a few colours and watching that blend in together. The fabulous technique of using the straw with this one really blends in beautifully with the glitter card stock and it leaves a beautiful shimmer afterwards. I try not to put too much alcohol ink when doing with the glitter card stock and the same with the 
alcohol blending solution. Don't put too much because you'll actually lift off that glitter off that cardstock. So I'm just quickly running it through with a bit of blowing with my straw. And how beautiful is that? Beautiful shimmer with the alcohol inks. And I always like to let that completely dry before I use it to make cards or cut out some die cuts out of it. So there we have a couple of different samples that I've used with different types of papers. Now for my last sample I'm going to be using the Yupo paper. I've placed it on my clipboard and I've placed in some more alcohol blending solution and dabbing a few colours. And this time instead of using, or I did use a little bit of the straw blowing technique, but this time I'm going to show you another technique that's great for blending the colours together. And that's using one of the Couture Creations, it's called a Deluxe Felt Applicator Ink Applicator. It's a great little tool, it comes in the shape of a heart, it's in this rose gold packaging, I just love anything rose gold. It slips out of its little holder and you can see it has a felt heart at the end. Included in your package of one of these tools you get 10 felt heart shapes but you can buy extra ones once you've used them a few times. I tend to keep ones for different colours so this one here I'll probably keep this one for like the, my purple colours. So using the felt applicator tool and applying a bit of alcohol blending solution onto the felt applicator you can dab over over the top of your alcohol inks and that will create a really really effect nice sort of blistery rainwater effect I really love that technique and that's just another technique of using the alcohol inks with the felt applicator so these are the three colors that I use to create my sample I can't wait to show you the cards that I create with these samples. I just wanted to show you a few little techniques that you can use to help you apply these alcohol inks to your projects. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll have all the links of all the materials that I've used in the links below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again. Bye.